what's wrong with this piano? Okay, let's get out of demo mode and play four, four keys don't work. Okay, and uh, we're gonna try to figure out with this service manual what's wrong. Okay, so we've taken off uh, the top, the dust cover, and we've uh, disconnected the control panel. And now, look at this. There are letters embossed on the keys, C, D, E, F. But you don't get it down here when you're playing. Ha, ha, ha. So there's some circuit boards back there, but uh, looking underneath, there's a whole mechanism. And when I press a key, yeah, you can see each one has a hole. So C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. And that's the F above the one that's not working. Okay, so you have white keys and black keys, and you have uh, these... Um, that's just a mirror image. Okay, so the mechanism is inside, and we've got to dig a little further to find out how it's all connected. All right, because there's stuff around here. There's stuff around here. We'll figure it out. Let's just look at some of these circuit boards. This one looks like the main. Then this one here, look at those caps. Oh boy, what does this look like? Mm. The caps still look good to me. There's the MIDI in the back. There's a separate MIDI circuit board. And these speakers, look at these honking speakers. And this is uh, some jacks in the back. There's a transformer. Whoa, look at that thing. Yeah, good old 1995 technology. Okay, there were 10 screws on the bottom that were holding the keyboard assembly. And uh, we had to uh, disassemble that. But look, there's a little circuit board down there. And here is the interface. There is some, this is the, uh, okay, look at that. These connections go around into diodes. Uh, look at this a little closer. All right, I'll have to play around here and look at what's not connected properly. It's magic. Okay, so it looks like down here is the input to the gate array. And uh, let's see, we got something else here, IC2, and then all the diodes. So if there's any bad connections to the gate array, we'd have to look at that circuit board. So we need to disconnect the screws holding it to get a better look at that circuit board. Okay, this is getting interesting. These are the key switches. So there's an on and an off switch for each key, and the diodes are soldered there. But now, let's see if we could see anything on this circuit board here. All right, that is the gate array connection. Can't focus it too well. There we go, getting better now. Okay, these are the solder joints. So I'll get a continuity tester and see if I could tell if there's any bad connections. All right, that's the next step here. But look at that, the hammers of the piano have uh, little things that touch these and hit the switches. So I'm pretty sure the switches are okay because we're talking the last four up here. And I can't see anything obviously wrong here. Okay, so I lifted up one of the rubber things for the switches. And these are just little membrane mylar things that make contact between the two points. Let's see if I can focus in more. Yep, so that's how the switches work. And then the traces, there may be a, something wrong with the tr common trace that's going out on the left. I'm not sure yet. So looking closer at these switches, it looks like the top um, contact 
is longer than the bottom one. So I guess when a key goes down, the bottom one makes contact with the pad, and then going up, the top one makes contact with the pad somehow. So that's how it detects note down and note up. And then on the left, you see the trace connecting the bottom ones, and uh, each one, all the left sides are connected, and the right sides go to the individual diodes. So it is that left common that needs to go to the um, pin on the um, LA, the uh, PLA, the logic array. Okay, what we see here is the circuit diagram for the checking device and also the procedure for doing a keyboard ROM check, IC2. So you press and hold two B keys and then turn on the power. So let's go check it out. We hold down one, two, this B and this B, and we turn on the power and wait a few seconds. And there was the beep, so only one beep means the keyboard ROM is okay. So to make a checking device, we have to put it in those four holes, uh, solder it maybe, or just have pins touching them, unless there is a connector that clips on the side and makes contact with those four pins. And it's just the circuit with an LED and a resistor and a switch to turn it on or off. And just to take a peek at the MIDI interface, that white chip over here is the opto isolator for MIDI in. And then you got MIDI in, out, and through. Okay, we've just removed the middle C key. And that's what it looks like inside. We'll turn it on and we'll press the switch. Okay, that's how a normal switch should work. So the action causes this to hit the switch. Aha, it's got to be in the right spot on the hole. So that might be something if they're not hitting the hole right. Let's see. Okay, but I did order a new pad, new um, mylar for these four. Okay, so now we could see that the C, you could press it like this, but the C sharp, the, the C sharp and the D do not sound. So it's either a bad switch or an electrical problem. So this could be tested by moving the C, B, B flat, A pad over and swapping them and seeing if you get a sound. Okay, so what we did is we moved um, the uh, rubber from here to here, and now let's turn it on and see if we get notes or not. Nope, 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 nope. And what I could do is replace these bad ones on here and see if we get notes. That would prove it's a circuit problem, which looks like a bad trace over here somewhere. So then I need a bodge wire. Okay, I swapped these four and these four, and I have sound on the old rubber, so the rubber isn't the problem. And these are not going to make a sound no matter what I do because there is a circuit problem. So once you figure out the problem and fix it, you tweet about it. So here's the photo of uh, when I first disconnected the keys, uh, the little rubber things. Then the 1995 PC boards, so the transformer the uh, audio board amplifier, uh, yeah, the amplifier, oh, this is the control panel, the back of the control panel, then the audio amplifier and the main board. And look at that beautiful processor or glue array, whatever it is. And then 
a little video showing to prove that I fixed it. Okay, that was with the bodge wire and to acknowledge people like text files who scanned the manual to archive.org and made it available for all of us to do this. So this is an example of repairing rather than replacing and making more e-waste because I will use this piano as my primary piano now. I had to do a bodge wire between the pins. So I had to solder onto that pin 48 to a pad in one of these on the circuit board for this because uh, I had to solder to the common terminal. And actually I couldn't solder onto that terminal so I had to improvise and use a jumper. It's a mess, but it works. Okay, let's listen to the demo songs on this piano. So here's the first piano. Release. Second piano demo. So that first demo was uh, the upright piano. Now let's see if I click piano and then I click it again. Okay, click piano and then I click upright.
Okay, that's grand piano number one demo, grand piano number two. pre-recorded music cheapen the value of the piece when you hear it this way?
is nice. Now let's try um, E Piano 2. Oops. Okay, so let's go back to the demo mode and select E Piano 2. Okay, and if you ever wanted a harpsichord, you got one. is rolling over and uh, last but not least your own pipe organ <laughs> Gator.